If you want to mount custom content to your Garry's Mod and also your Garry's Mod Hammer, do not just dump it into the Garry's Mod directory. Instead, just go to this website, jacobsader.com slash downloads, or just like jacobsader.com, and then click on downloads up here, and download the Garry's Mod Mount Manager. I have already downloaded this tool on my PC, and I've added a folder for it and added a small shortcut here. Once you open up the file, it asks you to specify a mount config file. This mount config file can be found in Garry's Mod slash Garry's Mod config slash mount config. So I'll just go ahead and browse to that folder. And once that's selected, you will find that you now can add projects. So I'll go ahead and add a project here. I'll call mine Intrepid, because that's what I'm currently working on. Press OK, and you will see that it created a new project entry here. And on the right side, it says mounted folders for project Intrepid. So go ahead and select whatever custom content you need for your project. So it is important that in your folder locations where you have your custom content, you follow the source engine directory structure. So you will have your materials, models, particles, sound, whatever else you want. And this folder can be anywhere on your computer. I've got it linked up to my Google Drive as well, which is handy in some situations. This is also how you could extract add-ons from the workshop if you want to work with them in Hammer. Just create a new folder wherever you want, dump the content in there instead of your Gary's mod and then just open the tool and select them here. It's important to select the folder where the source folder structure is inside. So don't select the materials, models, etc. individually, but select the parent folder. Just enable the project and hit apply to mount config. And this already is everything you need to do. So if we go to hammer now, and open up the Intrepid project that I'm working on. You can see that all the custom content that I've made is now mounted to my Hammer editor. And the same goes for Gary's mod. The map is currently in development process, so it's not compiled with lighting and a lot of the stuff that you saw in Hammer is missing. But the important bit is that the custom content has been mounted. So as you can see, there's a King Palmer's folder right here with the Star Trek. And then I can find all the models in here. If I now go ahead, close Gary's mod and Hammer and just untick the enabled box and apply to mount config again. If we have a look in game now, all the content that was previously mounted to Gary's mod is now no longer showing up. This is really handy if you don't want to have your hammer cluttered up with custom content. If you just want to have a quick look at someone else's work, or if you want to test if your map is fully packed and nothing is missing. So before release, you can use this to verify that whoever is downloading your add-on will actually not have any missing content. The tool itself also has some additional features. Obviously, you can add new projects here. Let's just call this Hogwarts because that's something I will probably never finish. Um, obviously, you can, you can add the mounted folders you want to have as well. You can rename stuff. Delete mounted folders. Or even add multiple folders at once. So if I want to have all my Star Wars content mounted for some reason for this Death Star project, I can do so. You can also reorder projects or copy them. That's all for this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment or add me on Steam or Discord.